I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. Uh, Wax is here. Yeah. Tramp Lactus. NYLA is here. Yeah. Man. The little one. How is it so crazy (laughs) that... So much shit happens in seven days. What, wait, what's going on? It's a bunch of different shit that's happened since the last time we did this podcast. I want to see Jesse Williams' dick. You want to see Jesse Williams' dick? What's what wrong with hey, you? Like, let's come in hot. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> like that. I have some thoughts. Yeah. Pull it up. I have some thoughts. <laughs> I have some thoughts. Who, have is, some thoughts. who is this person? Why you want to see that meet? Jesse Williams is doing a Broadway play. Uh, in the Broadway play, he has a scene where he has to be naked. Um, personally, I think it's a prosthetic penis. Oh, yeah, I don't I think it, a nude leak. No, you got if, if, it. Is, no, that's that's him on a play. Somebody took a picture of him on stage at the Broadway play and then oh. put it out. But it makes no sense because his his penis is the complexion of Idris Elba. Oh, he got the darky. That's a guy he hugging from the back. That's what happened. I don't think that's pretty normal. <laughs> but is it is it oh. looking what? to see a me? <laughs> I'm looking oh at a my play. god. <laughs> I just, I just hear a man grumpy. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't think I want to see that. That is a that's what you call a fluff. <laughs> meaning no, seriously, meaning that somebody like like you can. Are you gonna explain to me how dicks work, bro? You, know, <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I fluffed my dick before a girl saw my that's fake right. soft that's dick? That's right. Listen, if that's you, right. If that's girl ain't gonna ever see my fake soft dick. <laughs> you can, or my real soft dick. Why you think you put their hand in their pocket so they can rub their head Hell and yeah. try to make it do it? Fluff it up. Now you can tell that's a fluff because like it, it ain't hanging. You it's kind of going out a little. There yeah, you go. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Y'all are hating. Y'all are hating. <laughs> Why are we hating? <laughs> I mean, I'm wouldn't you fluff if you're him? You're not going to be out there with I'm your just real soft dick. Yeah. Shit, that dude he fighting against don't give a shit. He, he out there with that micro penis. Like, he let's don't. go. <laughs> like, yeah, let's he's go. The, he's the real one that's exposed when you think about it. That's Wait, wild. And why are they naked? And why is that necessary? And why is his penis darker than the rest of his body? Why is his penis the cut complexion of Idris Elba? I don't. I said what? His dad black. Who? Jesse, Jesse Williams. Williams. Why he got his dad's dick? Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> you got your dad's dick. That is something that all of us wanted growing up, though. What, our dad's dick? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah man. What? My you, dad no. had the big one, bro. For real. Super fat. You see your dad walking around in underwear, you'd be like, that's how I want to look in underwear when I get underwear. older. He'd just walk around swinging? You no, know, he'd, wear, he'd wear like a, he'd wear just a shirt. Really? Yeah, he would dress like a Frenchie. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Like yeah, wow. he would do the Winnie the Pooh. He did the Winnie the Pooh. I had too many sisters, so my dad wasn't walking around. Oh, he had to. I'm just happy it. to have mine. Yeah. Well, salute to Jesse Williams. I think that's a prosthetic, <laughs> man. I don't think that's real. Why I'm are we not haters? haters? I'm just telling you the truth. Man, my man's shit was at like 45 degree angles. It was like straight <laughs> down. That's bro. right. It wasn't like just hanging. When yeah. it, it wasn't just dropping. It wasn't at zero on the he, clock. And also, there's no like uh, wrinkles or nothing like that. Like his shit is ready to go. That's just, what I'm saying. Low key, he might be bricked up and they have some tape holding it straight down. That's real. <laughs> that's I true. think that's what it is. That's what I would do. Yeah, 100%. Because I'm a grower. I'm not a show. I don't have like, I don't have that hand. So you can look. Like that. Man, and what happens he next? Why he threw the dude down like that? That's a dope pose to strike, Yo, yeah. what, what are you doing looking at that? I'm but is it sick. is it that's porn? But wait, what's going on? Are they about to have a gay play. scene, like a gay sex scene? I have no idea. I need to know how much money he's getting paid for this, because I, you know, I love acting and I love art, but what is the art behind this? I need to know. Well, yeah, why do they got to be <laughs> naked, bro? Like, do I have to be naked for this scene? <laughs> <Somebody playing about? laughs> like, you could have put on underwear. It's fake. We know it's fake. I need you read this book naked. Like, yeah, why? Like, no, 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 no. Why'd he throw him down like that? He's about to dig that out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it look like that, bro? Isn't that crazy? He's about to dig that man out, that poor man. <laughs> bro, standing over him like that? Nah, that's triumphant? a hell of a pose. Like, like, he's like he's master of the universe. You like, think yeah. they're taking acting to new levels with this nudity scene? Yeah, it's like, oh, uh, we're just acting. Like okay, then fucking act. No, by, by the way, we've seen nudity scenes. Come on, man. We, we I grew up on Oz. Yeah, but it's not titties, bro. Like if it's titties, no, it's Oz. different. Remember Oz on HBO? 
I don't think Wizard of Oz had no fucking news. No, or man, something. not Wizard of Oz, man. Oz, the jail. Oz, the jail. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this guy talking you about? Never I'm about to say, you never watch Oz? I was about to say, wasn't yeah. that Michael oh, Jackson? Man. <laughs> Oz was great. <laughs> Oz was one of the all-time classic HBO shows. Oz, phenomenal. It was a show about prison, and you'd see dicks all day long. Just I, like I, that. I They'd be fighting, hat. stabbing each other, just like that, butt naked. Butt naked. Wow. What does Bootsy think about this? See, this, yeah. this, this is the content that we need. We, we need, need Bootsy <laughs> watching. We yeah. need a Bootsy reaction video to this, this yeah. clip right here. Bootsy, get on it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Bootsy's number? Can you text him the video? I don't have Bootsy number. Uh, Somebody, oh, that'd like be funny as hell. Oh shit for, man. Yeah, text yeah, him yeah, to yeah. Bootsy. Matter of fact, everybody, on, man. everybody should DM this video to Bootsy and just right be like for, ref- for research purposes. Right <laughs> now. Imagine, well, I, I don't get this. What you think about this? What's the name of the play? Meets Beige Anatomy. I don't fucking know. Beige Anatomy. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah. have no idea. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. But this just happened today. Over the last seven days, the funniest shit, you know, uh, and I'm sure that y'all have addressed it, but, you know, Dave Chappelle got attacked at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Nice. Could you please tell people what you responded to me when I sent you that video? <laughs> Yo, Chris Rock can't have shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let Chris eat for a little bit, nope. bro. He didn't even eat for two nope. weeks, man. But this was a remix, though, because he was able to be there, and he actually that's true. He, that's he true. brought Will Smith into it. So. That's true. That's true. Remix, Chris got, that's Chris got to drop a line. Now, yeah, as a, man. As a comedian, how yes. did that make you feel? Well, I'm off tour, so. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't the infamous tour is finished. <laughs> remember last you week? had a chance to get me. <laughs> <laughs> remember I told you last week, I said, you can't go backwards. You can't go back to the comedy clubs. You yeah. got to stay on the arena stages. Nah, yeah. This was an arena stage. This was an arena. It's over. <laughs> nah, this the dude. guy. You know what's funny? Yeah. It's like, low key, this is the greatest compliment. Because I don't know if y'all know, but like, he did his whole set. And then the guy attacked him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. means a dude showed up to assault you and you were performing and then he was like, all right, let me see. Let me see. I gotta see this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you like, like, but he does do too much after his set anyway. Though. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Dave leaves a lot of room for things like that to happen because he does his set. Like, uh-huh. he, I when last time I saw Dave was at Radio City. Mm-hmm. Was it Radio City? I think it was Radio City. He did. A, no, it wasn't Radio City. It was a uh, matter of fact. It was Radio City. He did an hour set, mm-hmm. and then when the hour was over, him and John Stewart just spoke for like mm-hmm. forty minutes. Mm-hmm. Then he brought out Erica Badu to do it. Song, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know Stop. what I'm saying? Stop. If I wasn't thinking, Stop. About, I'm just saying, Stop. Stop. I might have already changed my mind. And I'm like, man, this shit going on too long, bro. Like, you, yeah. think, it, you think the guy just didn't like Blackstar? Because Dave was about to bring on Blackstar. And he was like, let me bring on my favorite band. The guy, he's about to bring up Drake. And then all of a sudden, boom. We still don't know the reason for why he did it. Oh, it's because they're gentrifying his uh, uh, grandmother's neighborhood in Brooklyn. What that got to do with Dave Chappelle? What? This is a mentally ill person. And right. yeah, he's mentally. And I think Dave reached out and talked to him. And he should be put in jail. He should be charged with a felony. It should be no, 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 no. He got no, enough. No, no. He got his arms no. broke, his legs broke, no. and shit like that. No, no. Even the arm no. broke thing isn't real because he was a uh, he was handcuffed to the gurney, so it made yeah. it look like his arm was all like. Oh, no, I thought no, he said no, he had no, a broken arm. arm. I thought that his lawyer said he broke. had a broken arm. Oh, really? So this- anyway, <laughs> it's like yeah, that you deserve that, but you also deserve to go to jail fucking time. prison because. And this is the problem that happened with the whole Will Smith shit. It's like. Anytime mentally ill people see that you can get attention for something, they're going to repeat it, especially yes. if the cost is low. And the cost was so low for this. You think in that moment he realized he wasn't Will Smith? <laughs> you think, <laughs> you said, how long do you think it took him to realize I'm not Will Smith? When he was like the whoop of his ass. When they started beating the fucking shit out oh, of him. Yes. But also the ass kicking he got wasn't even that crazy. Like, you attacked somebody. That was they, a good one. Put it this way. That was a good one. Someone attacks, someone attacks you. They're not going to get their ass kicked like this? Of course. Okay, so what he did ain't that different. He expected an ass kicking. He didn't think he was going to go attack him and nothing was going to happen. You got to make, a, set an example. But he's either kick their ass or go to jail. You know what I'm saying? I, no, I'm, I'm telling you, if you don't set an example with harsh, this right man. now, it's going to keep really on happening, bro. I think it was a spontaneous thing. I think that's all. I think that's Man, deserving. That's Every, he too. snuck in. He planned the whole thing. The whole thing was premeditated. He brought a weapon Absolutely. and did a premeditated assault. Like, Absolutely. if you have a weapon on you and you have a premeditated assault, he didn't have a ticket. He so, snuck so, in. So he hid it behind the toilet seat. No, he had it on him. He had it on him. So he people like, they, the reason he didn't get the felony and it was dropped to misdemeanor because like, he didn't use the weapon. It's like, well, he had to climb on stage. What happens if he gra- if he got on top of Dave yeah. and then busted and out the weapon? Up. So assault yes. is a misdemeanor in L.A.? I if, guess, right? If you don't have a deadly weapon. Wow. Yeah, I was talking to uh, mm-hmm. Miko, 
Miko, hope you don't mind me saying And she said that she was out there all week and she said security was terrible. Mm. She was like, she walked in, they didn't search her fanny pack. She was like, her homegirl had her purse with her, they didn't search her purse. She was like, wow. people just walking in. And she actually said something that was real smart. She was like, yo, I actually thought about leaving. Because she, she was like, I don't feel comfortable. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing. I mean, you know, you can't base that. Like, like I know that they don't really search. They might not search you the same way they search other people when they walk in the venue. You know what I mean? They right. might not search me the same way they search everybody else. But that's, you know, that's a little different. Because they're, <laughs> they're afraid of me? They're afraid what I might <laughs> they do? They just know who you are. they uh, like, this guy's uh, not coming in here with nothing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But if I am in a venue and I see security ain't tight, I'm like, all right. Yeah, you don't feel good. Uh, no, nah, this is ridiculous. I ain't worried. This, no, if this security dude. ain't tight, they ain't tight with me either, baby. Yeah, but you're a security. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, so you just need to be tight. Day. I, I, they don't know that. You motherfuckers don't know me like that. Oh, I'm well, saying, even if you're not security, you look like security. You do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let do. me do whatever the fuck I want to do. And you are. I'm just saying, like, you got to set a precedent <laughs> right now. We got to nip this in the bud because once things become trendy, mm-hmm. it's off to the races. Like, when we were Copy younger, younger, younger. Day. Like there was, there weren't school shootings when we were younger, 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 no, and then school shootings that. started, and they haven't stopped Copycats. because it became a fucking trend. Yeah. Yes. And people are going to copycat this shit as long as it gets attention. You need to punish these this motherfucker yes. and Will Smith, low key. They Chris Rock need to sue to the shit out of Will Smith. The, re- the reason I say Will is a little different is only because that is a once in a lifetime thing. You'll never see that ever again. And, mm. and when will you ever see one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, if not the biggest? on the biggest night of his life, get up and slap another superstar at the Oscars. Yeah. That shit right there that happened to Dave is more likely to happen every weekend somewhere. It can. Yes. So he needs to get an example made out of him him in a real way. And if nothing happens to him, if there's no real punishment, then what's going to happen is, because here's the thing, he got beat up because Dave got security and homies. That's right. The uh-huh. average comic that's on the road doesn't have they security have and homies. It. So they're getting away with now this. you're going, oh, I, I could get away with this. And, and you know, I don't get beat up. The ain't doing shit. Shit. Nah. Shit. Kosh better do some push ups. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I told him. I told him. Both of y'all motherfuckers. Say but you, some you know, wild shit. But even with the school shootings, I think if it has some like real dudes come in there and fuck that l- little fucking kid up, I guarantee you that shit is shut down. They don't mm. give a fuck about going to jail. They want to get away from their moms. Mm. Why do they act all crazy? Mm. Their mom is crazy. She probably on fucking pills. Mm. They want to get the fuck out of here and go to jail anyway. Mm. I bet you you get some black kids to whoop that fucking kid ass. I bet you they stop that shit right now. The crazy Maybe. thing about the school shooting is the people that do those school shootings, I don't even think they want to live no more. So I don't even think That's they, what they, don't care. Care. they don't care. They don't care. So you know going mean? to jail ain't shit. I bet you they're spooking with a black kid fucking them up. This is going to be the new protest for comedy like if there's a comic that you don't like their opinions instead of picketing outside and having a sign you go do something about it <laughs> and it's like fuck bro no and you can't do that and especially you can't do it at fucking dave man yeah like that that's the biggest comic on the planet you cannot yeah. let that go that can't is let that fucked go. up if we let that go we got to start telling people we got to start talking to them like kids and we got to start telling people learn how to use your words mm. because this whole i disagree with you so i want to hurt you or I disagree with Corny. you, so I'm happy you're dead. That shit is whack as hell. Fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I Listen, God bless the dead. I've never, I think I've watched one Kevin Samuels video in my life. Mm. And I never even, we never, I never spoke about Kevin Samuels. Mm-hmm. Ever. I never so. even talked about him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to speak about it too much, but I just think it's very silly for people to be running around here saying that that's karma. His death is karma. Yeah, that's a lot. He died a lot, of man. a heart attack. Allegedly. That's a lot. Heart disease is the number one killer of black people. <laughs> Men think, and women. I don't think it's disease. I think it's Viagra. What do you mean? If you got a healthy heart, Viagra ain't going to kill you. Ah, you take the wrong dose. No, if you got a healthy you. heart, Viagra is not going to kill you. Like, oh, if you got, if you already got some cocaine. type of underlying heart condition and you got some type of heart disease, that's when those things make you, make you have heart attacks. That's when they manifest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he, that man had some type of heart condition. That can happen to anybody. Yeah. How's that karma? You know how many guys die, guys die over Viagra a year? I'm sure there's a They lot. probably got underlying heart condition. Yeah, yeah their meat don't it. fucking get hard no more. No, That's the underlying man. condition. Heart disease is so <laughs> common. Heart disease is so common amongst black people, man. So for a black person to say, yo, it's karma that he died Corny. because of heart disease, that makes zero sense. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I understand he said things that hurt you. You know, so you could not like somebody because they said things that hurt you, but like I'm saying, not gonna celebrate his death. Yeah, that's just a weird. I thing. also don't think death is like a karmic thing. Break talking to the mic though, talking to the mic though. I don't think death is a karmic thing. Break that down. Like I listen to women with naturals. Karma. <laughs> <laughs> karma is like cause and effect, where death is just like yes, part of life. That's very true. 
So, but but what if what if what if like you're what somebody. if you die because that's an effect though. That's what I'm saying. Like if that guy that rushed Dave Chappelle on stage gets shot, that's karma. That's cause and effect. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But yeah. like he sped up his own demise. Everybody's gonna die. So like yes. it's, they're using it as in because he has all these statements that I disagree with. He yes. deserve to die. But those two aren't. Hand in hand. I don't mm. even understand the logic of, of the correlation. I don't even understand yeah. where that's coming from. Yeah, it's just people are hurt. It's and really then, strange to me. Hurt yeah. people hurt people. Facts. Yeah. It's really Kendrick. strange to me. And it, it is wild, right? Because it's like if if uh, Dave Chappelle, God forbid, was to pass away and the LGBTQ community was celebrating his death, those same people who are celebrating the death of Kevin Samuels would be saying the LGBTQ How dare community they? is wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, what, what if somebody touch kids and people celebrate their death? That's okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, which is okay and which not okay? I'm, you know listen, what I'm stuff like that is different. You touch kids, you, you violate rape. somebody, rape, you hurt somebody. Like, stuff like that is different. But just because you disagree with their opinion? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You disagree with the words that came out of like, their mouth? Like somebody Kevin Samuels or you, not, man. like the people that he did those videos with, Subscribe to do them, right? Yes, like they he, came it's on. not like he, it's not like, it, and uh, this is why, like, uh, was that Sasha Barrett and Cohen guy, the guy who plays uh, Ali G and mm-hmm, who's the other mm-hmm. ones, Borat and shit? Like, Borat. Yeah, like, he's like a bad person because he'll like trick people into being in his film and then like use yeah. lawyers and shit to like avoid their, like, he doesn't get their consent a lot of mm-hmm. times and then use lawyers to kind of hide and it makes people look bad. Because right? he get beat up yeah. before. Exactly. Wrong. So, like, Kevin Samuels, the people call in. Yes. You are asking for this. Yeah. So you could be really upset with the things he says. I heard says. girls say rape me. Like they want you to rate him. Rate. Rate. R-T. Yeah, rate. You yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying it's like these people are asking to be in it. They yes. are yeah. giving consent to whatever is going to happen. How do I look? You know what I'm exactly. saying? Yeah, yeah. He's going to tell he, you the truth. And he got a fan base. I'm sure there's just as much people that dislike him that like him. There's a never ending list of dudes on the internet who want to see, you know, women be made to look bad. There's a bunch of fucking incels on the internet. You know what's so funny? The first, the one and only video I can remember seeing of him, he was clowning a dude. Oh, yeah, he'll shit on dudes too. He was telling the dude, like, I ain't got no girls. I want me a girlfriend. I make $400 every two weeks. Yes. And he was like, how, 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 he was like, you look kind of big. How, how much do you (laughs) weigh? His dude was like 280, 290. And he was like, you have a job? And he was like, no. And he was like, do you make money? He was like, yeah, I'm a, I get unemployment or something. I get 400 every two weeks. And he was like, don't call me, ask me why you don't have no girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you a big broke dude with a little dick. That's what he said. Yeah, you yeah, a big, yeah. That's what he said. You, have a, you got a big dick? Yeah, that's what yeah. he said. You a big broke dude with a little dick. That shit was funny to me. He goes, he goes, uh, he, the guy goes, he goes, I mean, I'm all right. He goes, no, do it with big dick or not. He goes, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm cool. You know what I mean? He goes, no, no, no. You know if you got a big dick or you don't. That's you true. You don't. That is true. You got a big dick? Huh? You have a big dick? I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron like, Jeremy. No, 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 no. I actually what? said a big dick. I just said it was above average. What? I don't know what that is, really. Uh, nigga, you know if you got a big dick. That's it. That's bullshit. <laughs> Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know yeah, I got know, a big dick. Back. You don't know? He, he I mean, right back. You don't have a big oh, dick. Nope. That's the point. You don't have a big dick. Nope. You don't have a big wallet. You a big, you a fat dude. And you got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing instead of the five foot ten and three hundred pounds making less than a thousand dollars a month at twenty years old. Do we know though? I mean, yeah, I think you know because you see porn and then you see you and you're like, am I that? But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I could have a, a so above you average. Rate yourself on porn. What's Say the again? average size of a penis in America, Taylor? Yo, that's a good point because I'm tall, but not uh, compared to NBA players. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What's the average size of penis in America? I think it's only like four inches. No, nah, that's crazy. Come on. I'm serious. I think it's like four or five inches. I'm above average. So what size oh, is my hand? I'm above average. What's considered big? This is the normal size of a meat is my hand? <laughs> a meat? That's a fucking <laughs> big ass. meat. <laughs> you sure that's the size of regular meat? You can fit an average size meat in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gonna Photoshop a dick in your hand right now. No. Watch. <laughs> they already got you. All they gonna do is rewind. They gonna oh. Photoshop a dick in your hand. The biggest dicks. Oh, Germany. Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck Let's you mean? Go, Let's go, white go. people. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Congo got 7.1 inches. That's God. Africa. Damn. 
See? Let's, let's nah, break. go back to that. Go back to that. Go back to that. Go back to that little chart you had. Nah, right click there. on South Carolina. What's go back to that size? little chart. I need to know the average size penis in South Carolina. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> no, they got it up there. <laughs> 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 I want to know the average size penis in this South Carolina. I want to see who got the littlest meat. Son, South Korea, 3.8 inches, bro. Damn. And, God, go, and North Korea is lower than that. Sheesh. North Korea. What's Laos? Laos. What's Laos? Let's say uh, is that quit for something? Because <laughs> they don't have no dicks in Laos. <laughs> is that, is that <laughs> oh, mean quit? <laughs> oh, it's four inches. They don't have no dicks in Laos, bro. Yeah, they got four. They got bigger dicks. Okay, the Congo got the biggest one. Seven and the, I'm, listen, I'm seven and three fourths, so I'm Congo meat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? <laughs> That's average in black people. How you know? You ain't got no dick. Listen, what size is my go, hand? Go, Yo, go, go to that chart. Go the to the chart. global the average is five and a half. The American average is five. Pff, I'm balling out here. <laughs> Yo, see, that's so, why you so guys, That's Yo, why life is, is about this? perspective. You got double the dick of a North Korean, bro. <laughs> Yo, a North <laughs> Korean <laughs> could fit their dick in your dick twice. Isn't that crazy, son? <laughs> Yo, if a North Korean was freezing in the cold, they could cut your dick open and scoop it out and then just stick their dick in there to keep it warm at night, bro. That's how... Isn't that Taylor, crazy? go to that list, Taylor. Go to that list. That's crazy. So you go there the and a North Korean and just impregnate all the women. Just or would back. it fit? <laughs> nah, they, yeah, they don't want you over there. Yeah, they can't handle you. They don't want that. Yeah, nah, they locking me up right away. Now, it was a list that said the average dicks, right there, average dick by city or something like that. Right there, the second tab. Scroll up, Taylor. Come on, Taylor. Oh, God, come on, Taylor. <laughs> right up, Taylor. It's right there. You see, Taylor, you see the two tabs? <laughs> go to the second tab, Taylor. Oh, my Taylor. God, Taylor. The top right. Taylor. There it is. There you go, Taylor. All right, there you go. <laughs> Columbia. Right. Columbus. Oh. Let's see. Dick size by state. New Orleans. Scroll down. We got oh. the biggest dicks in America. Women, y'all should know this type of stuff. I don't think I'm gonna get the ass tore Washington, D.C., San Diego, <laughs> New York City, baby! Throw it out number to the state. Four. Go to state. New York got number four? Hell yeah, we got number four, man. We're not oh, playing no okay, fucking games. Big big ass ass number four. Me tell. Philly down, with the Taylor. little dicks. New South Dakota. And South, South Carolina. Carolina oh, number right. 10, baby. Number nine, New York. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> Where Jersey at? What the fuck? Y'all got little oh, dicks yeah. in Jersey, bro. Don't Jersey's worry about it. They New number Jersey 14, number 14, Jersey number 14, bro. Little dicks. Little dicks, dude. We got a... Uh, Taylor sent me an interesting text before I walked in here. Uh-oh. Um, let me see if I can find it. It came from Twitter. You know I don't be on Twitter. Did you send it to me, Taylor? Yeah, it's, um, it's in the group chat. It's in the Brewing Idiots group chat? Oh, okay. Let me see. Let me see. It says, uh, so obviously Cedar God is going to come all over himself on Brilliant Idiots. Y'all not interested in why I'm going to come all over myself? No. About this new Kendrick song. Andrew Schultz, please be honest with him at best. The song is okay, closer to trash. Who said that? Uh, Lionel Joel. Okay. I watched the um, the music video mm -hmm. just recently. The Heart Part 5. Yeah. And I, maybe I'm getting older. Maybe I'm maturing. Maybe I just know how much like time and effort he puts into his like creative. Kendrick does. Mm -hmm. they like... I feel uncomfortable judging it without really sitting down, watching and digesting. I really watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like I just watch there's certain songs I could listen to 30 seconds and I go, oh my God, that's a fucking banger. Like that song with Bia and J. Cole, the London song. I'm just like, holy shit, this is just fun. Like I never heard it. Oh, yeah, dude, it's yeah, that yeah. song is just so much fun. I heard about it. I but, feel bad because he looks sober. Where do y'all be at? <laughs> yeah, I know. Say again? He looks sober. Where do they be at? They right? No, I never heard it. No. no, that London that London song is fucking great. But this one, I didn't feel that initially, but I know how... Who, yo, who he look like? O.J. Simpson. Yeah, that's the point. That's, <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> God, God, yeah. God. Holy shit, I promise I ain't never see it. <laughs> yeah. I watched this video 20 times. <laughs> I never seen it. It's like, match. <laughs> who does he look like? The guy whose literal face is there. <laughs> I, I, I never looked That's at That's Jesse Smollett. Yeah, I don't understand the I don't understand the Jesse Smollett part in the O.J. Simpson part. Yeah, do I. I'm going to just assume whatever he was saying when he was Jesse was a lie. But, but O.J., I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> OJ, I'm OJ not sure. I watched this video 20 times. 
And okay. I, listened, I, I listened to the song like twice before. The, I didn't know the video had came out. So I listened to the song like twice. Yeah. And I love it. And the reason I, well, number one, this song is not going to be on the album. If you know anything about Kendrick, he never puts the hearts on the album. The heart is just something that he puts out before the album drops. So these are never on the album. Oh, so this is just like something Will to get Smith. everybody talking. And he and, you, and usually the hearts are always commentary about, you know, something he's seeing in the world right now. And it kind of gives you a direction of where you where the album possibly could be going. Mm. But the reason I love this song is because he's making a mockery of what people call culture nowadays. And he's letting us know that none of this shit we call culture is actually culture. What does that mean? Yeah. The glorification of drug use, the celebration of, you know, violence, you know. Um, Girls calling themselves whores. I, I didn't hear him talking about any of that. But really, is he started, if you listen to the first few bars in this, he talks about, I come from a place where, like, murders, murders minor or something like that. So that's what he's saying. He was like, yo, we have trivialized we have trivialized and made all of these things so normal yeah, in our culture. And that's why uh, that, that part where he's talking about Will Smith, he's like, you know, hurt people. He said, hurt people, um, hurt people, hurt people. Fuck calling that culture. Like, that's why I like the record. The record is like, the messaging is very, very, very on point. Important. Yeah. You know, and, you know, he's using a lot of current events. They explain that. And I think, you know, he, I, I think he picked certain people in this song to show certain people need grace. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So, Will so Smith Chris, in particular definitely, he feels like needs grace. I think so too. OJ? I don't know about the OJ part. That's tricky. I've been trying to match up the lyrics with the OJ part. Yeah, maybe I got to hear it, the OJ shit. With the Jussie part, it felt like he was saying, why would I ever do, why would I ever do something like this? You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the Kanye thing is, you know, he talks about being bipolar, his friends that are bipolar. You know what mm. I mean? Like that's obvious. The Nipsey part, fantastic. Mm. You know, the Nipsey part is fantastic. I ain't seen Nipsey's face. Anymore. You know, and I, I, I don't know. I just, I just really, I, I like it. I like it. I dig it. It's dope. that's my feeling. It's like I, I think it deserves some more time. And like I would want someone to do that with something I put out. It's vulnerable putting something out. That'd be mm -hmm. So I want face. someone to give me a little bit more grace. Now at the same time, it's up to us to create art that you know people can digest and enjoy. Like ideally, they enjoy it right away. Yeah. But because I create things and put them out, I want to give someone whose creativity I respect a little bit more time before I go. Oh no, this is mid. Yeah. I feel like people are so quick to just jump to saying some shit is mid. It's like, well, how long did you give it to Smoke decide that? that? Maybe they just don't shit. understand it. I, like I, I could yeah. sit here all day and come up with a million different think pieces on why he chose to do OJ, why he chose to do Jesse. I don't know. You yeah. know what I mean? Like some of the stuff makes sense. Kanye makes sense. The Nipsey, of course, makes sense. The Will Smith makes sense. Yeah. Everything else, I really don't know. I got to figure Andrew, it out. Andrew, who faces you will put on, on yours? Who would I be? Yeah. Probably probably all them. You can't put blackface. Why not? <laughs> and the deep fake, I think you can get Yeah, I can do deep fake. Yeah. Because I'm not doing random. Art, just all it says art. It's art, It's not bro. black. Yeah, that's not blackface. That's just a deep fake. That's deep fake, dog. Yeah. Did you like it, Nyla? I loved it. I did. Um... I agree. Well, I agree with Andrew in the sense of I had to digest it. Mm -hmm. Like once you once you first sent it to me, I just listened to the song. So I'm like, uh, this is too much for me to process. Then when I watched the video, I'm like, oh, I have a better understanding now that I see mm -hmm. the changing faces and stuff like that. So I think if he dropped the song without the visual, it definitely wouldn't have the same effect. But I feel like as far as like Kendrick's rollouts, like what's dope about Kendrick is that it's like beyond the music. It's the art to it too because he stopped the world with the humble music video too and he did that for damn. Yeah. Like he always gives damn, us... Damn, I missed that too. Yeah, like the... Huh? I missed that too. There's no it, way. It's just it amazing everywhere. how he breaks down like traumatic events that seem normal. Like I done seen niggas do 17, hit the halfway house, get out and get his brain blown out looking to buy some weed. Car wash... Is played out. New GoFundMe accounts. I proceed. A brand new victim. I shatter those dreams. The culture. And and like you said, how he he's pretty much saying the culture we call it culture isn't really culture. Yes. He did that with yeah. humble too, though. Like he's saying. Also, that he how he made that rhyme. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you said it, I know what the fuck was going on. To be honest with you. Not a single word rhyme when you just yeah, said. Yeah, but yeah. Kendrick says that shit like, he yo, that shit. You know yeah. how to do it. Yeah. Oh, when he said, I said, I do this for my culture to let y'all niggas 
Mm-hmm. Didn't let y'all know what a nigga looked like in a bulletproof rover in my mama's sofa with a doodoo pop, a head trigger, walk up close, there ain't no photoshopping. That's just oh, that him. was good. But that's him talking about being a kid and growing up around guns and how that was just mm-hmm. normal with a gun sitting in the sofa at your mama's you house. Yeah. OJ, yeah. right? You sit on plenty of guns. And I, that's why uh, Resma, uh, I don't know, was he OJ then? That, that's when he was OJ. That's in the beginning. I'm not sure. And then, you know, Resma Minicum has this quote that I posted the other day because I really feel like Kendrick either read My Grandmother's Hands by Resma Minicum or he saw this quote. And Resma breaks down in My Grandmother's Hands how trauma in a person decontextualized over time looks like personality. Trauma in a family decontextualized over time looks like family traits. Trauma in a people decontextualized over time looks like culture. Culture. Mm. And all he did in this record was put a lot of different traumatic experiences on display, a lot of things that we normalize, and he's saying, this is what we call culture now. And that's why he's saying, man, fuck calling that culture. Mm. You know? That's, and the Will Smith part was so powerful. It's just like, yo, hurt people, hurt people. Hurt people, hurt more people. Fuck calling that culture. Mm. Like, yo, I, I, nah. I, I, I mean, thought it was but, great. But you want your kid to be the smacker or the one against smack? You see what I'm saying? So Why do you got to be I either? I don't, I don't want it, but you know it's life at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? My, I do not want my kid to win at the house, at the school, getting punked. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to come through a whole... I know a family in the hood who all... They all got beat up. They all was punk. So I guess that was child trauma for them. They got beat up. Every single one of them always getting beat up. What they doing now? Probably still in the hood getting beat up. Probably making more babies getting beat up. Or probably getting bullied by the kids in school. I mean, you should always teach people how to defend themselves. But Mm -hmm. I... I, Yeah, but is that culture for them? You know what I'm saying? The guys that's smacking them at the end of the day, I mean... That person that's going to school smacking them for no reason... They're dealing, no They're dealing with some pain. They're dealing with some hurt. Because why would yeah. you just go to school and bully people? But I don't Most want, bullies I don't, are dealing with their own trauma yes. that they haven't dealt yeah. with. But what about the guys who are getting smacked? What type of trauma and stuff that they keep on doing all these years? That's a problem, too. Yeah, getting attacked is not good. But that's 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 somebody projecting their pain onto them. Mm. Yeah, but I don't, want, I don't want to have the trauma. I'd rather be the guy having the kid, the guy who's smacking, I can try to control that. It's the, still the trauma, though. Smacked. It's a circle of trauma. Because that person who's going to school every day smacking somebody for no reason is clearly hurting. Like, why would you want to yeah. go to school? Yeah, I don't and want you to do that for no reason. But I, and I don't think that Will Smith did that for no reason. Because people keep, keep, keep talking about that's trauma. You're talking about the man's wife. No. That ain't no trauma. No. Will Smith was, no. Will Smith will tell you himself he was dealing with a whole bunch of yeah, issues that he had to process. Trauma aside, what do you think the culture is supposed to look like? And somebody talking about your wife. It ain't supposed to look violent. I know that much. Like, we ain't supposed to be normalizing violence. Like, mm-hmm. you know, everybody trips out when uh, certain things happen in our culture. Like, I saw, you know, we saw Young Thug and them, Ouch. you know, get picked up. And they already talking about, you know, the, the, in, in the indictment, they're already talking about music videos and lyrics and everything else. Mm-hmm. The difference, like, violence is natural, yes. right? Me and my man Glass Malone was talking about this yesterday. We know violence is natural. There's mm-hmm. civilizations that have thrived off violence. They've become, you know... Uh, uh, fruitful civilizations because of violence. We love violence. We, I was just at a UFC world. fight this Saturday. But that's the difference, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's promoted and marketed mm-hmm. and monetized. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I mean? That's the difference. It's one thing to say, yo, I'm violent because I'm defending myself or, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm being violent because I'm trying to survive. Yeah. We do that shit for sport. Yeah. yeah. The time and place for <laughs> yeah. everything, though. We do you know that know shit saying? for sport. No, that's a good point. It's exact same thing I did in the ring. If I do that in the street, I'm getting locked up for it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So time yeah. and place for everything. Mm. I don't know. I don't think that our culture, though, is... Because you were saying we have no culture. There is no culture when we were talking about the song prior. But I do think that, like, even in hip-hop early stages, it was always violence. Or they were talking no. about the violence. That's not true. KRS-1 had a whole Stop the Violence movement. Yeah, but that that was later. When you said early on in hip hop, early on in hip hop, it was you know about the message. You know, broken. He was talking about conditions that were going on in the ghetto. It wasn't just this glorification of violence just because it was the trendy thing to do. You know, and you were talking about trends earlier. A lot of this shit just became trendy to do in hip hop. When that when when murder, murder, kill, kill started making money, that's when people started Start giving up mur- more murder, murder, kill, kill. Yeah, it's just a tricky thing, especially like, for like. Black Americans. I don't like how you say black. I know. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of harsh. It's kind of testy. No, but like, it, it, the testies it's, out of it. It's tricky because like <laughs> trauma. Okay, and I'm, I'm talking about specifically black Americans. I'm not talking about like Jamaican black Americans or Caribbean black Americans or African black Americans. Like specifically black Americans that don't have direct roots to, you know, where they're from, where mm-hmm. their culture is from. Mm-hmm. 
the bond, black Americans, first of all, are very young culturally. Like when you think about it, like how long has Italy been around? Thousands of fucking years? Mm. You know, how long have uh, uh, India been around? Fat, like they're, they're, these are cultures and cultures take time to grow mm-hmm. and take time to weed things out and make things cool and get rid of those. You know, mm-hmm. what I mean? we're talking about centuries to make that happen. America's young. We're yeah, still figuring yeah, yeah, out what yeah, we yeah. are. Okay. Yeah. So you have black Americans that don't have this tie to their mother country, right? Obviously because of slavery. So what is bonding them to other black Americans is trauma, unfortunately, in a lot of ways. Obviously there are other things, but it's you can't deny the fact that a mutual experience that black people can connect on is how they've been treated shitty because they're black, right? And then you have other things that are sprouting up. There's food, there's music, there's culture. And we're seeing that in our generation. We're going, oh, shit, look at these cool things that are happening for this group of people. And it's bonding around it. But even the music is going to reflect what you went through, which is just reinstating the trauma. Yes. And that's why a lot of those bonds are unhealthy now. And the reason they're unhealthy is because as you grow, as you evolve and you realize that's just wrong. Yes. You know what I mean? So, yes, I love the <laughs> I love the idea of the confusion of culture. It's like, no, that's not culture. That's yeah. this fucked up thing that we had to deal with. And it's OK. We should talk about it. We yeah. being black people talk about it. Right. And we should ha- make art about it. And we should do as everybody has throughout history made art about their pain, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't have to be your culture. That's not a defining yeah. characteristic. And what is to be a black person here is the fucked up situation that he grew up in. So that how, is an how, how unfortunate do you, how, thing. How do you, how do you tell what's, what is and what's not? But like, okay, that's culture. That's or up that's to you guys. Somebody so. talking about his wife and he just reacted. I just don't think, you know what I'm saying? Ah, yeah, trauma. you're like, am I reacting like a, am I, re- exactly, am I reacting as Will Smith or am I reacting as a black person With trauma. representing the right, culture? Will Smith was absolutely so. projecting pain on Chris. So Brown. when yes. does somebody mess with your wife when it's time to protect your wife from anything? That's not protecting Where your is wife. That? Hey, listen, I'll tell you this. Oh, but you but know, real quick, yeah, you answer, protect- answer his what, question, though, because I thought it was really interesting. Okay. It's like, I thought you were asking, was Will a- acting as a black man or was he acting as Will? And is that kind of what you were yes, getting? Is that it, like a cultural yes. impulse or is that Will a Will Smith? Like Will. Yeah, yeah, I, I, so I, I think that's too? Will. What's the but, problem? So why the trauma got to come into it? And it's like somebody Will was acting his like Will because Will was projecting the pain that he was experiencing in that moment onto Chris Rock mm. and projecting the pain that he's been experiencing for years. Pain that he's talked about he hasn't dealt with yes. from watching his mom get beat up by his by his dad and not intervening. Will yep. said that himself. Uh, the greatest yep. night of his life, he's happy. He got things going on. Somebody said something to his wife. That that right there shows kids you. and wife is like but wax. That right there shows you how crazy that situation was and that he snapped because you're Will Smith. You don't you don't you don't went through this whole life flawlessly. I hear you. I hear you. And on the biggest night of your life, you snap. That right there should Is let that everybody be on the biggest night of my life. No, like, come no, on, no. He, got, he nah. got some shit going on. He got some shit he ain't dealt with. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's really too. that simple. Somebody he got messing with my mom or, or mine. I'm going to come see you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that's trauma because if that same person was said, bless you, I say, God bless you too. But if that's the same person, fuck with mine. I'm going to react off everything. So what's wrong with reaction? I'll yeah, but reaction. I, 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 dis- I disagree. I don't think you would. I think if you came to one of my comedy shows uh-huh. and you knew that it was my job as a comic to make fun of you or whoever is there and you yeah. saw me making fun of other people that weren't you and other people's wives and then I made fun mm-hmm. of you, I made fun of your wife and not in something that, that is that crazy, like and not something yeah. a mean, deep-spirited thing. Like, you can't it, tell people how to react off the things True, that you but do. you know you what I do for a living, and Respect. you know it's love, yes. and you know and it's... And that's Chris Rock. Ain't no guy that's actually trying to hurt you. Exactly. Wife like, like nothing... You. Yes, you know, right. like, you know the environment, and I think... But if you are, like Charlotte was saying, dealing with this intense... That's right. ...feeling, call it trauma, call that's whatever right. you want, but if you're dealing with something where you can't even control your impulses, that was a lack of impulse control, that's bro. Right. Like That's right. Rage. I, I, I like yeah, it. I was rage, bro. Going like, through their, their mental health and stuff like that, but everybody using it so much. Stop using that. But shit. it's because it's real. I, some people do have it. You see what everybody. I'm saying? Ah, stop doing that because you're letting a lot of people off. So no, imagine shit. Somebody, trauma is a spectrum. I all hear all you. trauma is 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 a, a a a reaction to things that cause you harm. So you can't control it. Is what you're trying to say? Some people can't. That's, it's a spectrum. It can be. It can you, be. You it can be. Like you got you, you got trauma because of rats. 
Yes. When you was a kid, rats climbed on your shoulders, so now you see Gone. rats, you out, because it no brings doubt. you back to that. Okay. Yeah. That happens to so many different people. You don't know what people's triggers are. And I Will like- Smith's wife gets fucked by other people. Yeah. Uh. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> We basically, mm-hmm. we broke up. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. <laughs> can we say, can we, tr- can we say has? Has gotten Ouch. fucked by other people, right? <gasps> allegedly, allegedly. Jesus so, Christ. So while he, <laughs> while he stands, <laughs> right? No, no. While he sits there and does nothing about it. Yes. He's at a show. That's not true. His wife is getting... Yeah. His wife is getting, you know, banged on verbally while he sits there and does nothing about right, it. So you think it, Why did you have to start with the first part, though? That's that the only thing that matters. That's the only thing that matters. That's the only thing that matters. The only thing that matters is that 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 other people have sex with Will Smith's wife. And, and nothing, right? Just saying it makes you go, oh, Me too. my God. Oh, my gosh. Yes. But do you think if if he was impulse, there, imp, impulse control? Do you gone. think if he was there and watched his wife have sex, I think he would have reacted the exact I, same he's way. He's been on the property, I'm sure. <laughs> wow. I think he's been on the property. Now, That's why I say Dubai is something. Pro- protecting black women to me are just protecting women. Period is being the best man that you can possibly be. Yes. Go yes. so so we can keep those emotions in check. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Going to therapy, doing the work on yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't let your wife get fucked by everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with your own rage, like that's how you protect women, really. Yeah. To me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we're not creating a safe space. And communicating to your wife that it, it makes you furious that other people fuck her. <laughs> and if you don't communicate that, that to your wife. focusing on that's the, that? Because that, 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 that is the, the, that's the know that, only thing that matters But how here. do we know that hasn't happened? Well, what do you mean? What? How do we know they haven't had that conversation? Well, but she's still getting her shit blasted, right? Whoa, I don't know. Are you an open marriage? I don't there know about no that open either. marriage, hey, show. That? That's crazy. Girlfriend. Yo. That's before the ring. That's crazy. Yo, the culture, man. Yo. <laughs> what culture is that? Man. I don't want what that culture, culture is that? Am I there in this culture? I don't want that yeah. culture. See? Fuck all that. All I heard. Oh, 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 my man, wife. Go. <laughs> keep my wife's name. More than name. <laughs> <laughs> your mouth. All I heard in this conversation was exactly why Kendrick Lamar made that record. <laughs> yes. Stop yeah. fucking my wife. And all I see here, Andrew saying the reason why he got smacked. That's it. He That's can't it. take other people fucking his wife, which is reasonable. Yes, and I, it's I a reasonable thing to but not time be able out, to time take. Time out, time out, time out, time out. I don't even know if what you're saying is true, but that's possible. But time out. But this, this is the point. Chris ain't got nothing to do with that. So what is he doing? Taking his he's pain projecting out. No, pain no, no, no. onto Chris, somebody Chris else. Chris probably said something exactly what somebody online said that he wanted to smack them. No, I Chris, believe it. what Chris said had nothing to do with sex. Mm. What Chris, Chris said had nothing what, to do with somebody what, sleeping with his don't wife. Make no sense. Why you keep bringing that up on the fucking podcast? Leave Jada alone. About what? Yo, could you get out the way? Yes, 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 Leave She's Jada alone. She's a married woman. She's Stay married away woman. from her, yo. Yeah. Come on, man. But, but, she got but, kids but, to raise. But I still feel like if if Will, Will seen that happen, I think he would have reacted and probably smacked the person that was having sex with his wife. Just like if you're talking junk about his wife. Come on, what you think is worse? Having sex or right, saying though? something? Right, though? Start with the dudes y'all, y'all, that are... Y'all doing a lot of hypotheticals because what if they have an understanding? No, ain't no such thing. Ouch. Why not? Ain't no Will such Smith thing. supposed to have his own. I got to share a car with somebody. I don't want to share my own car. I, I'm not judging nobody else's relationship. They, 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 got, they got a different level of money. Respect. They've been together yes. a long time. Yes. Like, God they, bless both of them. And by them. the way, that's the new thing, right? Like, there's so many people having these non-traditional relationships. I you know mean, what I mean? You sleep with this person, I sleep with that person. Non-traditional, non-traditional marriages. marriages. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I, that new shit different. I don't know. <laughs> Why y'all married, bro? You're rich. You, you don't need health care. Like, girlfriend. It's, that's like, yo, I'm going go down to Andrew. You, you want to share a car with me? No. I'm not sharing my car with you, I'm good. bro. I'm good. I mean, maybe, 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 maybe listen, some people in relationships love each other, but they just know their weaknesses. Why lie to a person? You know what I'm saying? I, maybe I do want to be with you, but I still want to be with other people. And they also have kids together. The family dynamic is probably Will's supposed to have his own. That's Will Smith. Bro, He's supposed to have his own house, his own it's car. Jada Pinkett. Who? Jada Pinkett. Own lady. How we get here? We're talking about the heart part five. 
All he did was one deep fake <laughs> on Will Smith, <laughs> and now we back talking about you rather Will Smith slap. or OJ. And why Chris are? Rock didn't get a deep fake? Chris Rock deserves a deep fake. Real talk. Yeah, After what right. he went through, he deserves a pump fake. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. A bob and weave, son. He just did a fake, but I don't know about a deep fake. <laughs> Let's pay some bills, man. Uh, most in chorus. Did you ever feel like you're always on? Work, friends, family, a million pressing social issues and an expectation to be on 24-7. Sometimes you just need a moment to turn off and hit reset. That's when you reach for Coors Light. It's made to chill, okay? There's only one beer out there that's literally made to chill, and that's Coors Light. The mountains on the bottles and cans even turn blue when your beer is cold. Coors Light is absolutely one of the first um, beers that I was introduced to because growing up in Mons Corner, South Carolina, everybody, and when I say everybody, Mm -hmm. everybody drinks Coors Light. Like, you'll see crushed up Cause Light cans on the side of the road just because so many people, you know, drink Cause Light. So I understand what Cause Light means to people, man. The mountains, uh, when you need to hit reset, just open the Cause Light. It's mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Cause Light is cold lagered, cold filtered, and cold packaged. It's literally made to chill, okay? When I need to take a second for myself, all right? Or when you need to take a second for yourself, reach for the beer that's made to chill. Get Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash idiots. Celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. You want to do Blue Chew? Hell yeah. Guys, this podcast has also been brought to you by the greatest, okay? The GOAT, Blue Chew. All right. Same active ingredients that's inside Seattle's and Viagra, but this is the chew. This is the truth. This is the one that's going to keep your relationship happy. Keep, you know, your wife at home. You know what I mean? Not make your wife stray or have a non-traditional relationship. You know, ladies, and if you're thinking about having a non-traditional relationship, just get your man on some blue chew so you don't have to do all that. Okay? You deserve to have a happy home. You can't be out here slapping people at award shows. The blue chew is going to make sure of that. So you can get your first month of blue chew for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping when you go to bluechew.com and use the promo code IDIOTS. That is idiots. Bluetooth.com, promo code idiots. Best dick of your life. Go get it. Let's get back to the show. We got any church announcements? Yo, my tour is over, baby. So <laughs> yeah. I, I'm good right now. I mean, you know, we have some cool stuff coming up and um, some announcements that it will be uh, made very soon. Put it that way. Wax, you got church announcements? Yes, sir. Nearest dispensary in uh, LA. Go get your Who's Wax um, over at 106 in Columbus in New York. Uh, go to get your Who's Wax over there, too. Go to get your gummies. And, um, you know, go to Bully and the Beast every Wednesday. Go holla at us. NYLA. NYLA got a, got a project out. Yes. Pretty um, Tomboy Volume 1. Pretty Moody Volume 1. Oh, Pretty Moody Volume 1. Moody? Play off of the Pretty Tomboy. But okay. it's the first mixtape off my mixtape series in partnership with Audio Mac. So check that out. It's super dope. And the first one I did with this rapper named Osmond Benjamin. Mad fly, so. I want y'all generation to stop calling it mixtapes. Oh, it is. No, it's not. What is it? A mixtape was an actual tape. mix on a tape. tape. Y'all have playlists. I'm telling you, the first person mixed that brands well, it's something a- playlist yeah. is going to change the culture. Because it's not mixtapes anymore. Yeah, y'all not tapes. Like, I don't even know why we say that. It sounds good, but it's mm. not mixtapes um, anymore. It's original music, though. Playlist is music that's already put out. Well, mixtapes, they had mixtapes that were original music. Well, Charlotte, that, that if changed, you think dude. about it, if you think about it, bro, that wasn't even tape either. Tape was something that you taped on the wall. Like, that wasn't tape. That wasn't a tape. <laughs> I, I, said it wrong. I honestly... Okay, so... <laughs> I came back in halfway and I was like... <laughs> that's what you're you playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what he loses. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah. it's funny when it's real. That you playing. That's no, like, Joe, he playing. Like, He's what, playing. Who, who made that a he tape? He playing. Yeah, that, that's a joke. He playing. Nonetheless, make sure you guys stream it on Audio Mac. You know, it's great. My dad produced it. And yeah. Your dad produced all Dope. the music? Mm-hmm. That's fine. Wow. What up, Pop? Yes. Because the, the, uh, there's a, there's a tapes, there was a mixtape to the original music, though. Mix CDs. That's what, a whole, that's what the whole Woo Kid was doing with G-Unit. That's what K-Slay was doing with Diplomats. Mixed God bless the dead. That's what Drama was doing okay. with Wayne not, and Jeezy. Really, it's not a playlist, yeah. though. You said what? It's not a playlist, though. So let's just call it a tape. It's not a tape. tape. Well, what is it? Can you tell it's me? It's a playlist. That's what I'm saying. The person who comes up with the right term for it is, is going to change the culture. But, but are they new songs? Mm-hmm. So these songs haven't been released. released. Yeah. So it's an album. Yeah, but 
it's only four songs, four skits. So it's like I interview the artists based off our interviews. We make music about the shit we talked about. So with Osmond, we were just talking about how like black people are really gods and like we don't really know our worth because media tries to distract us from really doing the work. Okay. And we talk about like how our ego can be our enemy and like just the things that we value. So in between it, it's like song and then like a skit from the interview. Okay. And then a song and a skit for the interview. So it's like you're supposed to take something away from it. Well, go get that Pretty Moody Volume 1. Mm. Uh, NYLA, produced by her pops. I heard one record. That one record was hard. Which one? The one you sent me. Oh, 25th Hour. 25th Hour, the God Hour. Yeah, that was hard. Um, shit we won't care about next week. Pete Davidson finally joked about Kanye. What'd you think? Get out the way. Are you allowed to judge other comedians' jokes? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, of, of course. I thought it was great that he talked about it. He deserves to. Like, your comic. Oh, that's his. Yeah. That's his. You're, this guy was making fun of you. You finally on your platform, the place where you're your best and you're your funniest. Mm -hmm. You damn well sure should joke about it. Good for you. He like I like seeing him stand set. up on him. Yeah. I, I think, I <laughs> think it's more yourself. This is great. I think more of this from comics. He just won't say nothing about it at all. I think he had win if he won't say nothing out about it at all. Nah. Oh, you don't even acknowledge it? Don't even acknowledge it, man. Just yeah. let it be. See the difference? Oh, no. More power. I though. think he should because uh, this is perfect time to capitalize. Anything with Kanye and Kim is free promotion. I mean, it's not like Pete needs the promotion, but I just think when you're a comedian, the beauty about being a comedian, your content will always come off fun. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to make people laugh. Mm. It ain't like fucking Kanye content. I'm going to beat Pete Davidson ass when yeah. I see him. It's like, oh, you mad. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, he wasn't trying to be funny. That's my That's point. point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my point. Like, you, it's hard to be a rapper and can yeah. convey how you really feel. And it's let also this... hard to be angry at someone who's being funny. Yeah. That's right. You like, know, if, if you actually funny, mm -hmm. you can, it's hard to be angry. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. You know, you know when I beat people up? Like, the dude arguing back with me, I'm like, all right. Yeah. I'm going to get him. But the dude be like, ah, you mad. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to beat the shit if, out of if you. If Chris Rock's joke about Jada was funnier... None of this would be an issue. It yeah. just wasn't that funny. <laughs> That's why he got smacked. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't that funny. Like, yo, yeah. if, if the threshold is right there. Yeah, it, was yeah. a, it was a waste of a joke. Because if that's going to be the reaction... Yeah, you should let me give yeah. you one. Let, let me give you yeah. one that people gonna remember. Let me give you, yeah. Like that we want to quote. Yeah, yeah. yo, that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And Will yeah. lost it. Like, there's no story. Like, we skimmed past the joke to get to the slap. Yeah, you know, she, she, she was like, saying? she should have said like, uh, uh, Jada loved the month of August. You know what I'm saying? Something. Why? I don't that fucking know. I'm just saying, yeah, she thinks it's a good one. You but know. that's that, that's. Wait, what, wait, 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 I mean, I'd rather that joke better than the one he said. What is August at? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> <laughs> But it should have been I something that you he just <laughs> said a random collection of words. <laughs> <laughs> you put them together, huh? <laughs> that was good. But it should have been what? something that people remember. If you're gonna go out, you gotta, you got to. It has to be something people remember. They gotta yeah, be able to yeah. quote the joke. G. I. You know Jane what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't doing it. Yeah. They, they, you gotta be able to quote the joke, and you gotta remember that when you when you in those moments. Yeah. By the way, since everything is since always always cameras <laughs> and shit is always on. You got to prepare for stuff like that. <laughs> when you find it, like Dave Chappelle, when he got tackled, he had, he had some shit ready to go. Yo, that yeah, line was hilarious. Yeah. He goes, he goes, thank God that dude was clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't hear that part. First like, I, that's the first thing he said yeah. right after he got tackled. The dude kind of fell down. I, I say what everybody's thinking. Right. Dave goes, was that a transgender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what he was thinking. Like, damn, the yeah. trans getting it, get back here. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Will, then Chris came on. Yeah. Said something simple, but that's another thing we were yeah, thinking. Happened a lot. Yeah, yeah, reminded wow, us wow, about wow. Will Smith. Exactly. Was yeah. that Will Smith? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's hilarious. That was the top of everybody's mind when you saw that situation. Transgenders yeah, and Will, Will Smith. Smith. Yeah, it's great. That that's the beauty happened. of comedy. You get to call out what everybody's thinking. That's why I'm so shocked that, that uh, Chris hasn't spoken about it yet. It's like, 
you have this golden opportunity where everybody in the audience is thinking about the exact same. It might be a lawsuit, yeah. but everybody in the audience is thinking about the exact same time. Like that's where comedy is magical, and you get to call it out. All, Shit. all, all he's cooking up, and he, you know, he, he don't want to hear wrong. And he's got a set that he's working on. He's got a yeah. set that he's out there doing. Like would you? Like would you? You probably would. Cause you, I would you do a lot of stuff off the riff. Not even that. Like I like talking about like you know stuff that's uh, in the zeitgeist. Like yeah. what do we all care about? What do we all talk? About? For me, that's the most real that comedy can be. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like. Because if you have your bits and all that stuff that's put out, which is great, I love creating and crafting a bit over fucking months and even years and like mm -hmm. making it, you know, as perfect as possibly can. Don't get me wrong. But nothing is as magical as having a bit that also happens to be on the tip of everybody's tongue. And it's and, yours. And it's yours. And yeah. sometimes you have a bit you've already worked on and then something comes back into the news. And then you get to tell that joke again, but it feels so fresh because everybody in the yeah. audience is there. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden comedy is like this real moment. People care. And you've delivered this piece. Mm -hmm. So you have the opportunity to do that fucking. I told y'all, if I was Chris, I'm just going to wait. And I'm going to do a nice little nine minute set. Get Netflix, it down. Get that 20 million. Because yeah. you know they're going to give it to him. Oh, like, yeah. And I'm going to do this nine minute set. And that's it. Like, I'm going to get this nine true. minute set addressing the situation. What happened? Man. That's true. That's it. Like, and it, so yo, that's true. And they would pay crazy money for it. Yes. It could be nine minutes. It, it, everybody would flock to Netflix to do it. Yeah, yeah, you're That's right. The problem with motherfuckers, they want to give away all that content. Yeah, I'm sorry. When sorry. Willing, listen, when sorry willing, for starting that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you would give that away. Not if you could get a check. If Netflix, I'm gonna give you twenty million. To give oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, take, I'll take twenty million. I I'll, 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 I'll tape your mouth. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? You understand why I just not said tape? I meant tape your mouth. Oh. What the fuck is tape? I don't know. He's still... I, it's, it's it's fucking with me. Who said tape and that's tape? Are they spelled the same? Yeah. All you have to do, Wax, is look inside the cassette. You know those that that uh that tape that comes out of the cassette. Yeah. That's the tape. It's sticky. Yes, man. It's tape. It's just like it's like uh. It's not tape. Is not just sticky. Tape is film tape. You know what I mean? Reels. It's film. It's tape. It's film. It's film. Like just cassettes. It's tape. Oh, because it's in a circle. Yeah. Like toilet tissue. Schultz, your comedy show was the first comedy show I ever went to. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. And you have fun. Man, I had a great. Just don't time. like you, bro. Huh? Nothing. Who don't? What? <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Hey, what happened? So she said that was her first comedy show she ever went to. I just like, like nobody bring her a date. <laughs> what, you <laughs> <gotta> <laughs> <be honest? laughs> like, like, where do guys take you now? Anyway. Where do y'all go? McDonald's. Shut the hell up. <laughs> so that was my first Harlem. comedy show. Five for five. <laughs> that's the kind of date you, that's how you impress the girl when she comes to New York. Let's just go to Harlem. I mean, <laughs> don't even go nowhere. This is See the Apollo? <laughs> Taste the seafood. Taste the seafood. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't joking. Okay. It sounds like it, but it's no, cool. No. Um, yeah, you, did you have fun at the show? Yes, no, I had a great time right, at the good. show. And I was gonna, what I was going to say is that um, it was really cool how diverse it was and yeah. how everybody got made fun of pretty yeah. much. Like, it was like, yeah. it was like, like, I was nervous. Like, oh, God, what is he going to say? What is he going to say? But it was nothing that... Like, it was cool to see everybody laugh together. Yeah. I don't ever see that many people all laugh Molly, together. Molly, we was, we, yeah. was in, we was behind a lady that got up and made her girlfriend leave. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, the lesbian <laughs> couple. She did, she did miss somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but one of the lesbians somebody. stayed for a little bit. She did. She wanted to stay right. the whole she time, stayed after, but her girlfriend after. She stayed was after. Met. She yeah. stayed after. I see her stumping them off. I was like, oh, yeah. But that's fire. I made you break up. Scroll <laughs> 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 up, Taylor. There's something I, I saw. I wanted, uh, I'm very proud of that. Yeah, that the fact that we have everybody here, mm -hmm. and I actually think that that helps us all laugh at all the jokes because you know those people are in the room. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't want to tell mm -hmm. jokes about a type of people who aren't there because it feels a little icky laughing about them. But when you know that they're there, it actually makes it easier to laugh because yeah. you look yeah. over, you be like, "Oh, and they're, they're laughing, laughing. Yeah, everybody yeah. having fun, like it's all good." It yeah. felt like a relief. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, did we see Doctor Strange too? Not yet, man. Wow, you saw it, Alex? Yeah. What you thought? I thought it was really good. I thought it was really yeah. good too. Why are people hating? I, I saw a couple of comments here and there. You know what I mean? I mean, I think Marvel's getting a little bit too busy for the Marvel. casual viewer. What does that mean? Busy. Um, it's getting real comic booky. So it's a lot of things that, you know, actually happen in like Doctor Strange comics. Like even if you watch the last Spider-Man, that was very true to Spider-Man, mm. you know? Um, and this one is very true to Doctor Strange. And it's just a lot going on. Mm. The only, my only gripe with the movie is I wish they didn't reveal anything in the trailer. Uh, you felt like you knew too much going into Way it. too much. They shouldn't have told us about the Illuminati. Don't, shit, don't they tell shouldn't me. have told us who was in the Illuminati. They, they shouldn't have done that. That should have just been a like, oh, shit. 
Like they shouldn't have told us nothing. We shouldn't have saw nothing. We shouldn't have heard Professor X's voice. We shouldn't have saw uh, Peggy Carter shoot. None of that. We should have just went to the movie, yeah. saw it, and we'd have all been freaking out at, at, about that scene because that was a great scene. But the story within the movie was good. It was engaging. You were oh, curious yeah, yeah, yeah. to see I, where I it went. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the story very much. And I'm also, um, I'm only also concerned about the stakes don't seem as high when people die because of the multiverse. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Back now. Like when a character, when a, when a, when a, when a character dies on screen in a movie, it it's means it, something because yeah. they don't really do that. Like, oh shit. Like, you know, when Tony Stark's died in Endgame, you're like, fuck. Now that you know there might be another Tony Stark out there, it's like, eh. Yeah. And could they bring that Tony Stark back into a different universe? Absolutely. That's guaranteed to they happen. They did that to Aunt Viv. <laughs> no? <laughs> that's, no? That's guaranteed to happen. They did, right? <laughs> yeah, they did. Right. You're not did. wrong, bro. No, you're not wrong. I mean, yeah, it, was, it was a multiverse Aunt Viv. Listen. Yeah. It was definitely it was a multiverse Aunt Viv. Multicolor. It was a multiverse Aunt Viv. <laughs> It was, that was a multiverse that ambition. That was a multiverse ambition. But yeah. it, it's definitely going to happen because in the comics, those <laughs> things called incursions, incursions are when universes crash into each other. Okay. So you already know Earth 616 is going to crash into some universe and that's how they're going to bring X-Men and Fantastic yeah. Four and everybody else into the fold. Ah. So. Uh, yeah. Mixtape. That is a good point, though, about death doesn't <laughs> mean the same thing anymore. And that's difficult now because death is what creates those like gut wrenching moments. Yes, man. Movie, like that makes you want to fucking cry and the idea of loss is terrifying. So if you remove all stakes from everything, it kind of destroys the whole yeah. plot of every movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like Ricky, yeah. Ricky had it's, to die in Boys in the Hood. You know what I'm exa- saying? Yeah. That was needed. We wouldn't have loved it. We wouldn't have loved it if Ricky would have came back as me. Yeah. yeah like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, if Ricky had lived and played football, it wouldn't have been the same. Ricky had to die. Um, yeah. Shit you won't care about next week. MMA fighter blames herpes outbreaks on loss. Oh, that you, shit was hilarious. Bro. Yeah, it's hilarious until you actually do some research and realize that, you know, herpes does cause fatigue and body really? aches. <laughs> oh, from loss. Huh? Oh, I'm saying like... I don't know. Like, well, he was talking about a bunch of different reasons. <laughs> what are you saying, buddy? <laughs> like he's, hey, what are you he's saying? <laughs> like herpes outbreak because he lost. No, yeah, play it. <laughs> but what? 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 Do you, hold on a second. Last fight, I what was tired. Think? I was exhausted. I'm about to launch this NFT that's going to change the fight game. And I put in 30 all nighters before that fight. I had herpes before that fight. Two outbreaks in the span of a week. I'm here. I'm healthy. Let's go. Whatever. It doesn't so he matter. said he was up working on his NFTs for 30, whatever. So that's as to the fatigue. Then he had two herpes outbreaks. Fucking herpes. Girls. I looked it. At, no, I looked it up this morning. Herpes fucking causes fatigue. And body aches. So, <laughs> who in here got herpes? Anybody want to talk? Seriously. Well, Wax, when you beat up that guy in the elevator when he made fun of you, did you feel fatigued that day? Did you feel tired <laughs> or anything like that? I do a lot of push-ups. I don't think I'm fatigued. You know, I have been feeling kind of tired lately, but I don't think it's going to herpes. What? <laughs> and, you know, say anybody here got herpes? I mean, it's, it's one in what? Three? One in, is it one in two or one in three? <laughs> it was two, four, six. It's six people in here. Right. So two people so got two herpes. Two of y'all got herpes. Nyla and Taylor. Out here. <laughs> out here in these streets. He's too young. To would y'all admit if y'all had it? I would admit it. Because it, it is show. I mean, you can't hide Yeah, you can't things. hide it. It's going to be there. It's going to be there. Would you admit if you had it now? I don't know. I don't think so. What do you don't think? <laughs> well, you would have to. I don't think so. You would have to. There's no way you could be out here dealing with anybody without letting them know you have herpes. And everybody got a best friend. Oh, you meant admit it to a partner or admit it right here on the podcast? I don't think you do it on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> a partner, right? Yeah, the partner for sure. Yeah, you would yeah, have to, yeah. but only if they commit to you. Like, if it looks like somebody that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. Bro, what about a one-night like, stand? So, I mean, honestly, you, if I have herpes, I probably want to... Oh, wait, it's not curable, right? It's not no. curable. No. Uh, but they say you can... I guess you can have sex during outbreaks, before between outbreaks. No, I yeah. heard that too, for sure. I know. Oh, wait, we what? know you know. <laughs> wait, 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 what? It just happens. <laughs> what? I mean, if, if you, if between it, if between it, if you, you can't get it if the other person don't have an outbreak. Yeah. 
Praise I've Lord. never had an STD, nor do I want one. Me neither, bro. Same. <laughs> you are a liar. I had, I had a yeast infection. <laughs> this guy is so crazy. I did. I had a yeast infection. We can't hear you on the mic, Ted. Guys can get yeast infection? That don't mean I come to the mic. We just said you can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> can we do some asking idiots? And yes, can we do some asking idiots? This guy yeah, is a fucking ass menace, ass. yo. <laughs> this guy <laughs> is a fucking what? menace what? to society. We couldn't hear her. <laughs> we can't hear you on the mic. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> No, because we've been listening to the last podcast. It sounded crazy. You didn't yeah. listen to it? No. I was listening. To the time. You can't even hear it at all. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I need to tell you all about Squarespace, okay? If you have a business, you need a place online for it, and Squarespace has got your back. You want to build a website, Squarespace has got your back, okay? Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand, okay? With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or even newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every send. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site uh, visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are the most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with the offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. Let's, let's go to some asking idiots, Taylor. This guy, Taylor. This guy's. I got to see this guy's NFT, though. That shit is about to change the game. NFT. They probably got mad bumps all over. Yeah. <laughs> Them NFTs ain't worth shit. They ain't. <laughs> Them shit ain't. But we, people should have known that. Yeah, they the should. It's only what you give the value. It's only what you give value to something. Mm-hmm. Um, the, 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 the VJ Dougal says, would you want DC or Marvel to buy your graphic novel or stay independent? Um, we building our own. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Yeah, salute to AWA. AWA is a company. It's a comic book company. Um, it, it's created by my man Bill Jamas. Bill used to be the president of Marvel. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like dope. What, okay, yeah, you're, you're, who you're best to be in business with? Like, yeah, you know, like, you're good. And he's just one of the, like that's what you do, right? You 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 with a company, you learn the ins and outs, and then you take that expertise. Uh, the own thing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So you know, I'm, I'm I like I like AWA's uh business model. So I think that's smart. We'll be put the vindicators will be out. The graphic novel Dark Storm will be out soon, but the vindicators will definitely be out uh the fall. The vindicators comic book with AWA will be out. Definitely in the fall. With my man, Kevin. Kevin Grievo. Uh, What else we got, Alex? What else we got? Oh, Taylor, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, mate, oh, this is a good one. Mate in three says, how much are you supposed to fight for a woman you love if she's ready to leave? Oh, fantastic question. Shit. God damn, bro. Yeah. It all depends if you did it. To make her leave. Oh, that's true. If you did nothing to make her leave, if you did nothing to make she was trying to leave your ass, what you fighting for? What are you fighting for? Yeah, you can't make someone love you. But if you did something fucked up, yeah, that's making it. You better fight, bro. That's on you. Yeah, you need more. I need more context. If she's ready to leave, then she's just out. Yeah, she's 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 had enough. There's nothing you can do. Like, yeah, but if you did something for that, I think you could try to get it back. You gotta do. I think you you should. If you fucked up, buy bags, whatever the fuck she like. They might not care about material. That's what I'm saying. None of that matters with emotional damage, man. When you you put in a time, cheat on a girl, and you break her heart, like then Uh, then she don't care what emotional material stuff you buy. How much? Tell us, Nyla. How much? I feel like you you definitely gotta attempt if she responds to you. Then there's something there, but if she completely blocks you, then it's too. Even late. if she say what motherfucker? Yeah, even if she says what motherfucker, a, a response a means there's a chance. Mm. Really? If you're not getting a response, then forget it. It's, it's over. over. It's over. Yeah, when yeah when they go cold, it's cold. It's cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Um, Are there more legs or eyeballs I, in the world? What's up, man? This includes all land, sea, and air animals and insects. Cal- <laughs> My daughter came to me the other day and was like, this is about a month ago. <laughs> is there more doors or tires in the world? Oh, or yeah. Wheels, we had doors that discussion. Or wheels. Yeah. I see wheels. I'm and we spent it. three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Because at first, I'm like, what the hell is she talking about? Then I'm like, what is it? More wheels, right? No, it's more doors. No, nah, I think wheels. I think it's more wheels, wheels. I think it's wheels. Man. Every I think it's door, there's, there's house doors, doors. But even, think about but a grocery even store. Still got a circle on it. A still grocery a store, every one of them carts. That's right. Got yeah. four wheels Bikes, on it. Bikes, motorcycles, cars, cars, Hot Wheels. It's, I think it's wheels. You got sneakers with wheels on them. That's right. Skates. Like, yes. My luggage. That I think there's it? way more wheels in the yeah. world than doors. Way more. No, because there's only people build high, so buildings have a it lot got of door, doors. It got wheels on every single one of them. On doors? There's a knob. I that's think not, it's more. And, and, no, that's not a wheel. A <laughs> knob's not a wheel. Yeah, but most yeah. of the world doesn't build high. All cities. A lot of doors, I hear you, but. Yo, there's a lot wheels. of doors, yeah. But it's what about wheels, this one? It's more wheels in this room. How you figure? Because there's two doors. It's four wheels on Alex's chair. Well, you know what I'm it's saying? actually more than five. Four. Shit. There's two, four, six, eight on his chair. Oh, it's eight. Oh, my bad. I only counted four. So it's eight wheels on his chair. It's two doors in here. You know what? There's more wheels in here. It's, wow. it's more wheels in the world. It's I think so. Wheels. Now, more what about legs this? Or eyeballs? Legs or eyeballs? If you count the meat, it's three legs. It might be kind of tied with legs and eyeballs because it's two. Yeah, but the animals that got four legs. Oh, mm. shit. But then there's probably some weird insects got that got crazy eyes. Yeah. Five eyes. Yeah. And, and insects got that got mad animals. legs, Don't too. Don't flies sea have, animals like... With no legs. Sea animals got no legs, and the majority mm. of animals, I think, all are in the eyes. sea. Yeah. Like, so it's eyes. eyes. It's, it's eyes. eyes. Man, ask us Anything about stuff we know about, How like, dicks. Eyes yeah. frogs <laughs> okay, what else? What else, T? What else? Let's get one more tail again. Jesus Christ. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. I know it's definitely eyes because flies have... Two eyes and then each with thousands of eyes within them. What is, oh, wow. oh, this is a good one. Gizmo 87. Okay. What would we do if we caught Dudu Herm getting pegged? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know who that is. You. What would you do, Nala? If you were getting if pegged? I caught that? If you caught Dudu Herm getting pegged. Nah, I'm just curious business. what sound he would make. You know your G spot's over there. I know that's a lie. That's cap. First of all, the first thing I would think is, the first thing you I would think is off because I look stupid. The first thing I would think is wax is a bottom. Yeah, that, you but also that. the sounds like how do you think you would sound if you were getting pegged? Like Big what? grunts. Yeah, like what? Like next question. Big grunts. Big grunts. Why are you so mad? About I just you told you. Egg? Listen, I look stupid jerking off. That's why I don't jerk off no more. I look in the, in the mirror. Picture me getting fucking smashed. Yeah, yeah dude. Cute. You look stupid as hell. <laughs> you would look so cool. What would you do? <laughs> what, would you do? <laughs> what would you do? Walked in and saw Dude Herm getting paid. Who even I'm put this up? I would here? just mind my business. Probably start talking to you through it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> How you feel? Oh, no, I'm having a baby. You got this. You Throw got that this. shit back. Bring it up, wax. Bring it up, wax. Bring it up, wax. Bring it up, wax. I don't like these questions. <laughs> Well, me, I'm pulling out my phone, okay? <laughs> I ain't heard none of y'all say the shit that y'all need to be saying yet. I am recording this. I just don't want to miss any. Nah, I'm not, nah, I'm recording, okay? I'll watch it back later <laughs> with everybody. I said, yeah. I'll record it and send it to Sean. <laughs> Immediately. Sean, I'm going to face that. <laughs> nah, that would never happen. Matter of fact, we do a live show. I think it's time for a brilliant idiot's live, people. We do a brilliant idiot's live. That's going to be packed. <laughs> if they can see my ball spot and some dumb shit like that. Oh, man. You'd still have your hat on, dude. He would definitely keep his hand on. Yeah, Unless the guy yeah. knocked the fuck off. Yeah. Oh. He got, in, that, got that Jesse Williams dick in him. Now, do you think he's getting his block knocked off? From I, think, I, think, <laughs> I think that they're I think they're pegging you missionary. I don't think that you're bent Ooh, over. Wow. Yeah, okay. I think you're on your okay. back. Tim's bro. in the air. Tim's, <laughs> Tim's in the air. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. If, if you don't see that. If you thought we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought you dumb, we're right. <laughs> Listen, uh, as always, if you watch this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely correct. If you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.